So lakes breathe from the top down. That's this thing that we've all seen in nature, hopefully, and maybe if you've seen like a cup of water, it'll freeze from the top down. But that's kind of weird if you think about it. I mean, doesn't heat rise? Shouldn't that be where all the hot water is? And if all the hot water is at the top, why would that freeze first? basic idea as to why lakes freeze from the top down. I want you to think about ice. So ice does a cool thing. It floats in water, right? It's a thing that happens to your ice, I hope. And think about near freezing water. Do you think it would also float? I mean, you wouldn't be able to see it, but float in liquid water? Well, it does, because like ice, it's also less dense. I'm going to explain why this happens in just a second, but I want you to understand the effects of this happening. So, this makes the top of a lake filled with cold and ice water because, like I just said, it's less dense. And this then leaves the bottom of the lake with warmer, more dense water at the bottom of the lake. So naturally, the top water, being colder, is just going to freeze first. And then this freezing continues down, down, down to the bottom of the lake. Basically, ice floats and cold water being so close to ice also rises. And now that it's at the top, it will freeze fast, a lot faster than the bottom. So the question is, why does water get less dense as it freezes? I thought things got more dense as they froze. And also, I thought heat rose. I thought heat rose, not cold. So Firstly, heat does rise, but as water gets below the odd number of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it behaves differently. To tackle the question as to why water expands as it freezes, and why it behaves differently under 40 degrees, understand that atoms want a certain number of electrons. Oxygen wants 10, and by itself it has 8, and since it's so close to being full, it will do anything, anything, just to get some electrons. So when it bonds to two hydrogen atoms purely for their electrons, it doesn't care about anything else. It hogs all the electrons from them. So this makes the hydrogen all positive, because it just got robbed of all of its electrons. And then it makes the oxygen charged up and negative, because it just got all of the electrons. There is now an oxygen negative side and a hydrogen positive side. So what does this have to do with water expanding as it gets colder? Well. Water with all these positive sides and negative sides are like magnets. Bent magnets, at least, because that's the shape of water. And these magnets want to link up. And when they do, it creates a specialized crystalline structure that allows all the magnets to be perfectly linked. And what it does in the process is it makes the structure much, much bigger, because it has to have a special shape. Now compare this to the jumbled, crazy, and compressed warm liquid water, and you can see that when water is warm or above 40 degrees, these magnets are shaking way too much to properly link up and create that beautiful ice. And this is what leads to water expanding as it freezes. And remember, when water expands, when water gets less dense, it starts to go to the top. So colder water, ice, and you know, just generally colder water, goes to the top of a lake, being less dense, and it freezes first because it's also colder. Well, light is the experiment, and you are the scientist. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check out some of my other videos and click that sexy picture of me to subscribe. Click that picture of my friend Matthew to check out his channel. And lastly, click that rectangle to see the rest of the playlist.